I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Today I'm out in the front yard. It's uh, 50 degrees out today. Pretty darn warm. Uh, just a very light breeze. See the windmill is just barely turning. Uh, sun's gone behind a cloud now, but it was very sunny. I just came back. Beth and I just came back from the post office. Had a big day. I uh, think we did 14 orders today. So let's go in the factory and look at the uh, solar toys and uh, talk about uh, shipping. Now I spent a good part of the morning out here uh, building stuff for uh, the orders. Now how this works is uh, Beth sets the pace on how we ship. She prints out all the packing slips and we had close to 30 packing slips today. It's like 28. And then she looks at what's on each one makes out a list of the stuff that she needs to fill the orders and makes a judgment on how many orders she can do uh, before her brain turns to jelly and starts making mistakes and how much stuff I'm going to have to build. She makes a call. Uh, today her call was 14 orders so she brought me out a list to just cover the 14 orders that she was going to do. It was a pretty good list. It was like an entire page. And I made all that, took it in, she put everything together and got it ready to ship. And uh, then we went down to the post office and uh, shipped it. Had a, I think we only had one customs, uh, and that was to Denmark. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's how we do that. I don't decide how many we're going to ship. She does. And she could do more, but to keep it comfortable and make sh absolutely sure we don't make any mistakes, we break it off at a certain point. Now tomorrow uh, we'll probably do 15 or 20, depends on what's left and what size they are, but we've got another 15 on the book, 14 or 15 on the books right now, and there'll be some come in tonight, so by tomorrow we'll have probably 20 orders on the books, and out of those we'll probably do 15, which will get us up to Monday. <laughs> uh, after I got done with that, I set out to, uh, when Sue came back from the mailbox, and I got three packages uh, of stuff that I had been waiting for to do a project. So I spent the rest of the afternoon uh, building a prototype flashlight. Now, my goal on this flashlight was uh, to make it small. I wanted a small form factor, something that fit my pocket uh, quite comfortably. And I wanted more time. I had the little tiny one that I had all the button cells in, but it only burned for like an hour, and that wasn't, I ran it down fairly quickly, after maybe a week. Uh, this one uh, is a little more technical. Uh, the one with the button cells had no electronics in it at all, just an LED, bunch of button cells. This one is a, a water clear, ultra bright white LED, and then in the middle is a uh, CR123A titanium lithium battery, 1400 milliamps, and then in the back there's a compartment, and I've got one of those high performance jewel thieves in there, uh, and it's running on the, the 3 volt lithium, which is too much for the LEDs, so I put in one of those little dynamic resistors uh, after the uh, jewel thief to uh, limit the voltage to the LED, and as the voltage drops that resistor will adjust itself so the LED will stay bright. And then I've got a, 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 I don't know if you can see it or not, a switch that I milled out and snapped right into place and it's all wired together. Had to mill a raceway uh, into the side of it to run the wires in because I had to run wires uh, from the jewel thief up to the positive end of the battery. And then I had to run two wires from the jewel thief through the dynamic resistor back up to the LED. So there's three wires in a raceway in the side of it and two compartments, you take the duct tape off, you can, uh, the two compartments are pressed in, you can pull them apart and change the battery or work on the electronics. I didn't pot this one with sugar. So anyway, uh, that's what we got and uh, it's very bright, I'm very happy with it. And we'll see how it lasts. Now I bought a dozen of those CR123A batteries so if this runs down I've got a lot more of them. And I've got some pictures of uh, putting it together and and everything. So let's take a quick look at those.
Okay, uh, my solar toys were running, but the sun went behind a cloud now and it's really dark here. But this one will run even if it's just a regular, not a real sunny day, but it's, it's really overcast right now. I picked a poor time to show it to you, but uh, it, run, it ran all, all morning while I was out here building. I ordered, uh, I just like solar cells, so uh, I ordered a solar cell, uh, I think I can call this one a panel. I'm not sure. It's 12 by 12, and it comes with a 4-inch uh, ducted uh, fan like you see in a computer power supply. And what I plan to do is put that over on my main squeeze there in the window to block the sunlight and to have it pick up sunlight, and then put the fan right off the edge of the shelf there so it'll be blowing a breeze on me in the summertime when it's hot out here. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I also took a motor and with a fan on it, a uh, model airplane motor, radio control, and hooked it up to my panel that I charged my battery for my uh, uh, lights up in my bedroom. Yeah, that's, uh, that's got quite a bit of power. That uh, motor is really spinning up. And the, the fan is throwing quite a bit of air. It's pretty cool. I just thought I'd try that. That, that is, I don't know how many milliamps, but it develops about 15 volts. And this little one-by-one -one panel that I ordered, uh, count 15 to 17 volts and, I don't know, around 100 milliamps, I think. So, uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon goofing off. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Uh, but it's not going to be anything too big. I've put in a good, good solid day. Uh, and tomorrow, we'll just hit it again. So I'm Timmy from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. And more important than anything, try to have some fun today. And try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.